most important pieces of advice that we keep coming back to here on Rip Off Britain is shop around. Because it really is only by getting a whole range of prices that you can be sure that you are getting a good deal. And these days, thanks to the internet, there's really no shortage of companies and websites that seem to make that whole process not just easier, but almost instantaneous. But can you really be sure that they are giving you the whole picture? Or when you compare the market, should you also be comparing the comparison sites? We all need a bit of help sometimes, and ads like these claim that they'll point us in the best direction of where to get it. They're for price comparison websites, which have become the first port of call for many who are hoping to get the best deal on things like energy tariffs and insurance. There are now scores of sites out there, all in fierce competition. But it's the ones with the most memorable mascots or catchiest ads that have become household names. Which magazine discovered that not all of these sites are necessarily comparing every deal that's available to you or getting you the best price? This is an industry that's mushroomed from apparently out of nowhere. They're spending a fortune on advertising. Symbols! Some of the biggest advertising campaigns are being done by comparison sites now. Use your head to save your bread and go compare. The businesses that are putting their products on those sites pay them to appear there. Moneysupermarket.com, a great deal easier. Don't assume that this is free, impartial advice that you can always trust. Which magazine do have a comparison site of their own, but just for energy? And they're concerned that some comparison sites don't take an impartial view. They did their own test to compare what you'd be offered when shopping for insurance. We found that the 11 most popular comparison sites for the most popular insurance products never covered more than a third of the market. They don't show you nearly 70% in most cases of all the deals that are out there. And as Billy Thompson from Merseyside found out for himself, sometimes even when you're offered a good deal on one of these websites, actually getting it can be a different matter. I use comparison websites probably four or five times a year and I think they're a pretty good tool. Sometimes you can find a good deal on them. So when Billy wanted a new quote on his insurance, he knew exactly where to go. I need to renew my house and content insurance. So I decided to go use a comparison website, see if I could get a bit of a better deal. Billy's current insurer was quoting £185 to renew his policy. So he turned to a comparison site, confused.com, to see if they could offer anything better. Entered all my details onto that and eventually come up with a price of £154. As he hoped, he was offered a saving. Swinton Insurance came up trumps, offering him a policy that would cost £31 less than his current policy. But in order to get this price, he had to phone the insurance company directly. He could not seal the deal online. These sort of insisted that I needed to go through all the details again, which I did. There was nothing different. Um, and then they came up with a, a price which was approximately £40 dearer um, up to £190-odd. However hard he tried, Billy could not get Swinton to match the price that he'd seen on Confused.com, leaving Billy feeling, well, confused. On this occasion, I'm just at a loss as to why there's such a difference in price when you come to actually buy it. Both companies have confirmed that the price should have been the same. Swinton told us this was an isolated incident due to an error by one of their call centre staff, and they've taken steps to ensure that it doesn't happen again. But which magazine found some surprising results when they posed as customers on a range of comparison websites? They found prices varied from £310.28 to £660.20 for car insurance policies, despite entering the same details every time. And that's a 112% difference. And it's not just the price that may not necessarily come out the way you expected. As teacher Jo Harter Tong found out, she lives in Manchester with her husband Richard and daughter Mia. Last March, she was keen to pay less for her car insurance. 
We looked on a number of price comparison websites and TescoCompare.com came out with a very good price um, with two different companies. The two cheapest quotes to insure their car were from Diamond and Admiral and price-wise there didn't seem to be much difference between them. We decided to go for the Diamond policy and the website instructed us to call Diamond directly. Um, so my husband made the call. However, when the policy arrived, Joe noticed that there was a bit of a problem. When I looked at the policy documents, it specified that it was a 10-month policy rather than a 12-month policy, which we had thought we'd taken out. At no point did it mention that it was anything other than an annual premium on the price comparison website or during the phone conversation with Diamond. I feel very misled by the fact that they advertised a price that seemed cheaper than other companies and really it wasn't when we looked at the fine detail. Tesco Compare say they always offer annual policies, so again it seems in this case an error was made by the insurance company's call handlers. Diamond tell us that they can't find the recording of the phone call when Joe bought the policy, but they're sorry for the inconvenience caused and are refunding the extra money that she was charged to change her policy from a 10-month to a 12-month one. And they're sending her some flowers too. Comparison sites would say that such mistakes are rare and that they've saved millions of people hundreds of millions of pounds. So, will you always get a better deal by going online rather than calling companies for quotes direct? We did an experiment to see whether we'd get the best quotes for car insurance on comparison sites or over the phone. It wasn't a scientific test, but it did give an idea of the variety of prices. Well, I've looked at the four best-known comparison sites and it looks like the cheapest deal that I can get online is £450. You know what's interesting? All four of those sites have exactly the same insurance company at the top of their list, but there's a difference in the quotes of £40. We then called the insurers direct to see if they would match or even better the prices that we'd found online. That's actually more expensive then. You're quoting me more than the comparison site offered me. I'm looking for insurance for a car that I'm, I'm hoping to buy. So really, I'm better going with the, with the comparison site than, than doing it with you on the phone. And it was clear that, today at least, the websites proved to offer the better deal. Well, that was a really interesting and useful half hour spent on the telephone. I think the most important thing I've discovered is that those comparison sites immediately give you a 15% discount from anything that the insurance companies are going to quote you on the telephone simply because you're booking online. In addition, by telephoning the companies, what I have found is some of them are going to charge you an administration fee as much as £12.50. That'll bump up the price. Haggling on the phone like I did may shave a little more off the price. You might get a discount on the ancillary. So, for instance, I did get £6 knocked off the cost of my legal insurance. But, overall, going online will save you money. But do remember, compare the comparisons. That's the way to save money. There's no doubt that these sites have revolutionised the way we buy. But to be sure that you really are getting the best deal, Try looking at a few of them, and not just one. Comparison sites may not always be as... Simples! ...as they appear. If you'd like more advice on how to make sure that you really are getting the best deal, then you'll find plenty on our website. It's bbc.co.uk forward slash ripoffbritain. Britain.